Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. Now in the last video I know I said I was gonna off-screen getting, um, Doria's thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that in this video because Lucas's fever is like two seconds from running out. And if I did this off-screen, you wouldn't get to see what spell he learned from his fever, so... So I'm just gonna go ahead and... there it is. PSI Counter! Counter is an awesome spell. Basically, it's kind of like shield, but it reflects back half of the damage that's done to you. So, that can be incredibly useful. Didn't really need that. Doria's Memento! I hope you'll remember me. Okay, anyway. Not doing that voice anymore. I have no idea what kind of voice I'm going to do for any of the other Magipsies, but okay, whatever. Anyway, so when you leave here... Wait a minute, let me go this way. Hang on. Because, uh... Oh, yeah, sure enough. Last time I came through here... Squeak, squeak! Hold it right there. Where do you think you're going? Oh, great. Random battle, huh? Ow. Oh, yeah. 157 experience. I humbly apologize for my rude, egotistical attitude. Uh, he's a pathetic excuse of a mouse. Yeah, all the girls dig you, that's nice. Oh, so your wife and seven kids are living on the highway. I remember them. Yeah, go back. Go back to Georgia. No. <laughs> Sometimes I say that when they have country music on at work. I'm like, go back to Georgia. Or I'll start singing along to the music, making up my own lyrics about going back to Georgia. I'm so bad, I know. I figure nobody's going to hear it anyway, so... Of course, now you hear it, so it's like, oh. Oh, you're the mole cricket we fought as a kid. Oh, that's nice. Like, I really want to bring back those memories. Yeah, okay, fine. So now we follow this mole cricket, and this is a long-ass walk, let me tell you. So, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do for my next LP yet, but what I want to do is try and make some headway into the LPs that I'm currently working on because I don't want to get stuck doing like four LPs at once and every single one of them is like an RPG or something that's going to take like a hundred videos to finish because then I'll never get to start any new ones like except for maybe once every two months. So that's why I've been sticking with action games as two of them and then RPGs as two of them. Sort of. I mean, I don't know if you could really call Super Metroid an action game, but, but I'm trying to keep it in such a way so that I can be starting a new one at least like once a month anyway. But... I'm not so sure if this doing four LPs at once is such a good idea because it's easy to lose interest in one, you know, for the viewers and for myself if I'm only updating once every two days. So what I'm going to do for a while is just do Mother 3, Super Metroid, and um, uh, whatever the other one is, Chrono Trigger, hello. Mother 3, Super Metroid, and Chrono Trigger, but I'll just like alternate between one as the one that I don't do. So like one day I'll do Mother 3 and Chrono Trigger, and the next day I'll do Mother 3 and Super Metroid, and then the day after that I'll do Super Metroid and Chrono Trigger. Get away from me. Man, those things are sure a pain in the ass, boy, let me tell you. Huh. Okay, so just for a short while I'm gonna be doing just these three until I decide. Well, you know, I actually um, downloaded an N64 emulator yesterday, so, and it works. So I played a little Banjo-Kazooie on it, and it was fun. <laughs> it's been such a long time since I played that game. I played some Mario Kart 2. And, um... What I'm actually doing here, I should have explained this probably, is you're supposed to follow the Mole Cricket into his hole, and then you come out on the other side on... on the mountain, and you get to hear the Snowman music, which is really awesome. But, um... But I actually want to get Duster in my party before I do any of that, so I'm gonna go get him first. Because in my other two playthroughs of this, that, I mean, I've only played through this twice, and I didn't even finish it the second time, but in those two playthroughs, I went the normal way and just went into the Mole Cricket hole first. So this way, I want to try to get Duster first. Wait, you know what? There's a... I'm just going to do this real quick. Yeah, bad memories for Lucas here, but oh well. Now then, like I was saying, um, what was I saying? Well, I was talking about what I was doing for my LP. Well, I was talking about going to get Duster first, you know, because I've never done that before, and I want to try it now. 
Now, this is actually take two of this video, <clears throat> because I forgot how to get to Saturn Valley. And I was even going all over the place looking in the holes. Just trying to find my way over there, and then finally I did, and there was a pig mask blocking the way, saying we're conducting repairs on Thunder Tower, so you won't be able to go this way or something. So, so then I had to look it up online, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's right, you find this bottle in the graveyard of Tasmillion, that's how you get there. So I was trying to figure it out, it's getting on my nerves. But I actually also um, downloaded Link's Awakening yesterday, because I've been saying for God knows how long that I was going to do that one. So I finally got it yesterday and downloaded it and tried it out, and it's pretty fun. There's a jar here that looks too hard to ignore. Inside is a letter. Read it. Sure. This way. Oh, nice. Okay, guys, you don't have to go in one at a time. You don't have to be scared of each other. You're not like co-workers or something. <laughs> anyway, please refrain from throwing running bombs. Okay, so yeah, we are in the right spot now. Let's get back over there, then. There's another bottle. Let's see. Attacked. Very bad. Come to Thunder area. Thanks, thanks. Okay. Um, I guess. Oh man, this is a long way. I wish we had a pork bean, you know? Man, I'm up to seven minutes already. Yeah, but the thing is, I was playing Link's Awakening yesterday, and early in the game, you find the mushroom, and you take it to the witch, just like you do in A Link to the Past. Well, I found the mushroom, and then I ended up wandering around for 15 minutes, I'm not kidding, 15 minutes, trying to find the witch, because I actually did find her before I found the mushroom, but then I couldn't remember where she was. So I'm sitting here going all over the place looking for her, and it's just like... This is why I don't want to do a blind LP, because I'm telling you, I have two videos of me trying to find one little thing. I just don't see it happening. If I did record something like that, I would probably, anytime I did have trouble finding something or figuring out what to do next, I would just reset the video and start it over until I did figure it out, so you wouldn't have to see me wandering around saying, oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing, you know. So in that, in that case, it wouldn't even be a blind LP, but at least it would be an LP of some sort. You know, of me going through the game. Just I know there is some spontaneity, there is some value to be had in the spontaneity or the honesty of doing it for the first time. But if you're really doing it for the first time, you don't want to see how I am the first time on a Zelda game because I'm telling you, unless you want to sit there and watch me look around for 15 minutes, I don't know. But yeah, I'm still gonna do it eventually. Maybe next, maybe not. I don't know. I'm just, I, tr I truly believe that if you say you're going to do something, you should do it, and so I should do it, because I said I was going to. Oh man, this is a long way. We'll go this way. Love this music. Oh man. Ran into the wall. Yeah, that's what you get for stopping my, uh, whatever. Man, I hope there's a shop up at Saturn Valley, because I need to get something for Lucas's head. I still don't have anything for his head. And I'm gonna need it pretty soon here, because it's about to get bad. I mean... Difficulty's gonna ramp up real soon here, and I want to be ready for that, so... <laughs> do 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 Wait, let me make sure... Okay, yeah, this is perfect. Lucky thing, I found this little shortcut. Haha! Uh -huh. Thought I was gonna have to fight you. I was worried about that. Thank God I can run through those. Oh, don't sneak up behind me like that. Uh huh. Check my moves. Oh, yeah, whatever. Whoa. <laughs> you guys are scaring me. It's too bad you don't get experience for this, because it sure would be a time saver. But then again, who knows what it really is. There's that robot again. I'm not gonna mess with him. So make sure we're going the right way here. This is how you get to Saturn Valley, by the way. It's basically somewhere that you've already been. You wouldn't expect it to be, but... It's like, wait, haven't I already been there? But yeah. But you didn't actually get a chance to explore this fully because it was like a cutscene. You automatically rode in the pork bean over here to Thunder Tower. Let me see what it actually says over here. No one is allowed inside Thunder Tower at this time. It's sneaking in is all the more unallowed. As are peeking, leaking, and reeking. Nice. There's nothing over here? No? Just 
just a yellow line. Okay then, well, we're almost there. And this is that place that you couldn't visit earlier, so... Oh man, I'm running out of time. Jeez. I could've sworn that said 10.49, like 10 seconds ago. Huh. Anyway. Man, I'm running out. Oh, lordy. I, I don't have a map anymore. Oh. We're definitely in unfamiliar territory here. Where are we going? I guess we'll have to find out next time on Let's Play Mother 3. So, see you then.